Andy, part of the uh, portfolio at Starek is the Echo Speed. Now, I wouldn't imagine this is the largest machine that you produce, but it's certainly something to behold. But uh, could you explain to the viewers a, a little bit more about it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, this is our Echo Speed uh, 25100. The figures refer to the size of the pallet, which we don't see here today. But imagine a pallet that's 2.5 by 10 meters in front of us here holding the workpiece. In this case, it would be spars for, say, civilian airplanes. Also, you imagine putting things like wing skins on this side of a machine. Anything that's long or thin or has a large surface that you want a machine in, a, a, say, a vertical attitude with a horizontal spindle. Now, what I'm seeing is that head is moving about with uh, some, some vibrance, I would suggest. But is that, is that really the main benefit to this machine, is, is that head? Basically, the whole of the EchoSpeed family is, is built around what we call the, the, the Z3 head. And uh, this is our solution for five-axis machining with a very high-performance spindle involved. So we've got a spindle here with 120 kilowatt S1 performance. And you see it's moving around. It's no slouch. It moves around very quickly. We can do a full sweep, which is plus, to, plus minus 45 degrees in around about a second. So moving very fast. We've got a high-performance spindle. We've also got very agile spindle for doing the finishing. And the philosophy of actually making machines at Starag is because you invest very much into the, the heads and the spindles here. It's very much down to the component, building the spindle and the head and making that solution work for the customer. Yeah, basically, so all of the core competencies which are basically around the head and the machine uh, base are our core competence, what we want to keep ourselves under our control. Then we just buy the things we can't build ourselves, such as a motor spindle, the covers, but uh, say the actual core of the machine is our intellectual property, yeah. And when you're talking to prospective customers, let's say in the aerospace sector, what is the, what's the main USP of this machine? The main USP of this machine is basically it's the lowest cost per part. That's what we're aiming for. And we say the lowest, lowest cost per part is achieved by making the part as fast as possible, obviously within tolerance, but fast as possible and the lowest possible cost. It might cost a bit more in the capital invest, but in terms of uh, return of investment, very, very quick payback and also a very, very good operating cost. One last question to you. There's a big philosophy at uh, Starag with Industry 4. How, how does the Echo Speed fit in with that philosophy? Well, basically, we monitor all of the things that's going on with the machine and we can feed those back into, um, say, um, an ordinate system. So all, everything that's happening on the machine, all the temperatures, all the, the movements, any feedback that's happening on the machine side, regarding the machine condition, we're monitoring that. And, of course, you can integrate this with FMS systems or whatever, uh, say, uh, work scheduling systems. It's all open to those sort of things. And can you build bigger than this? Yes, we can, yes. We've got uh, three machines that are about twice the length of this, already in operation, and obviously we're in conversation with a number of other major players in the industry for similar uh, machines.